This video is about nuclear atom. The question gives us a list of nuclear symbols, and we can look at the question to identify what to look for. So the questions ask us to identify the incorrect symbol, as well as isotopes, and the number of neutrons. So the concept of this question is to identify nuclear symbols. So this is the general nuclear symbol where X is the element, and A is the mass number, and Z is the atomic number. So let's take C12 as an example. So when writing the nuclear symbol, we can write out C, 12 the mass number on top, and 6 the atomic number at the bottom. So here we have the number of protons of 6 as it is the atomic number as well, number of neutrons of 6, and the mass um, as the mass is the sum of both protons and neutrons. And we can and we have the mass of 12. So there's another element C14. And these two elements are isotopes of each other because they are the same element with the same atomic number, but they differ in mass. So C14 has the number of protons of 6, the same as C12. Number of neutrons, we can take the mass number, subtract the atomic number, so we get 8 and the mass is 14. Okay, now looking at the questions, what, which species are incorrect symbol of an atom? Well, we know that the mass number has to be larger than the number of proton. The top number has to be larger than the bottom number. Hence, X is incorrect. Well, we also know that mass is equal number of proton plus neutron. And you can't have half a proton or half a neutron. The mass number or the atomic number, which is the number of proton, has to be a whole number, cannot be a decimal. So Y is also incorrect. Right. B, which two species are isotopes of the same element? Well, we know the isotope has the same, are the same elements, so they have the same number of proton. So looking at these, Z and Q have the same number of proton. So the answer for part B is Z and Q. Uh, the last part, which two species have the same number of neutron? Now for this, you are going to have to do a little math. So mass is equal to proton plus neutron. So neutron is equal to number of mass minus proton. Okay, doing a little bit of math here, we see that the number of proton for Z and A are the same. So the answer for C is Z and A.